Cover two, nine and zero. Oh. <laughs> that's all we got. That's all we got. I don't have to say anything else. That's it for the. No, just kidding. That's not all for the episode. Because we have a lot of good things to talk about here with Christy Torino. So let's start with someone who is a record-breaking wide receiver at a school with the names and names and names that are all recognizable. But the top guy is our guy Xavier Restrepo. And I think the really cool thing, Christy, about the stories we know what he's done, how he's worked, what he's accomplished. But we always talk about this school being about family. And for Restrepo, it really is about not only his hurricane family, but his family as well. Mom and dad and that image of Ashley Paget in the stands crying to me speaks volumes about the accomplishment. Absolutely. I think anybody who has followed X's story and X's journey knows how much he loves this place, how much he always wanted to be here, how much he wanted to be in Miami Hurricane. And I talked to his mom after the game and she said, that's what makes this so special. He didn't just do this. He did this here. Again, you look at all of the receivers that have come through this program, but he goes, she was like, he did it at his high, you know, his, his dream school, his, the place he wanted to play football. So I thought that was really special. And then, you know, Xavier Restrepo, he, he's never, he's always made sure that it's the teams first, the team accomplishments, the nine and zero, the one and zero every week. Um, but he did acknowledge, you know, that was really special what I did. And, you know, taking selfies with Michael Irvin on the sideline and, and all of the congratulations he got. I think that it was just a really, really special moment for him, for his family, and for the Hurricanes on Saturday. I think this year he, it's quite possible he's received more kisses from Michael Irvin than he has from his own parents. <laughs> I mean, there's been a lot of kisses right on the right on the top of the head <laughs> from Michael so. Irvin on the sidelines. Great. I happen to uh, have the chance to talk to X before the Florida State game, and we talked a little bit about this. Obviously, he was on the verge of doing all these things, and in very typical X fashion, you know, because we were in the indoor practice facility, looking up at all the names that were up there. I said, "Do you have a chance to?" Um, just stop back and appreciate what you've done. And of course he does, but he, in, in X fashion, he goes, but I'm not the best wide receiver yet. Not statistically, just like, a, and so there's so much more work for me to do. And that's so X. And it's, it's the mentality of this team, right? You, you, you talk to them after every win and they're talking about the place they didn't make versus the comeback or, you know, the numbers or the stats. It's what they didn't do. And I think that that's really what has been a big part of their success this year. They're always looking for that next step. And I guess that speaks to our next topic, which would be the quarterback who kind of leads the way, yes. right, in that mindset and that mentality. He spoke last week that, you know, yes, there is a campaign. There is a campaign. Except one. And he's ours. We love it. Mm -hmm. But he wants to win games and win the national championship. And I think that's what draw, you know, there's such a drive for him to win and, and be really good. And here's a kid who played in a small wing T high school program in Texas. But ultimately, uh, our gift is the blessing of a coach of his back home because this was in Cam Ward, someone who grew up playing other sports, basketball and baseball. And someone sort of presented him with a, I don't know, with a, a food for thought. And it's led in our and it's led in the right direction of this, this crazy surge of a story to someone that is the face of not only the Hurricanes, but college football this year. Well, as part of that campaign, and I'm teasing a little something here, we're, we're going to have a story about Cam Ward and his journey coming up very soon. And, and so I had the opportunity to sit and talk to him about starting as a basketball playing, baseball playing kid in West Columbia, Texas. And, you know, basketball was kind of his first love. He loved playing it. And you know, he got into football a little, you know, as a kid, obviously it's Texas and, and his dad, you know, is a former high school quarterback himself, Calvin, and, and he encouraged him. But basketball was kind of his love. And it wasn't until he got to his junior year of high school, a uh, coach in Texas said to him, listen, Cam, there are a lot of six three point guards that can drop 30 points a night. There are not a lot of six three quarterbacks that can sling the ball the way you do. Maybe this is what we need to look at for your future, what you need to think about for your future. And here we are, you know, like <laughs> how, how fortunate for everyone who's had the opportunity to see Cam play um, that that conversation happened and that Cam listened to that advice and he followed through with it. He has put in the work. I mean, we know one offer out of high school, zero stars. Now he's here at the University of Miami, nine and oh, this campaign is happening, leading the nation and in, in, in passing yards and touchdowns and all of these things that he's done all season. Um, it, it is quite a journey, and, and it speaks to so much of who he is that he's put in that work to make it happen. So I talked to Cam, two things. One, 
uh, a guy I know who also coaches quarterbacks down here was like, he looks like he, this is what all the arm, aim, arm angles that, that looks like a guy who played baseball. So I walked him, I did ask, I said, did you ever play baseball? Yeah, what position? Shortstop, of course, right? And then uh, in the same conversation, uh, I just asked him, I said, well, I don't, you, you, played in West, you played in West Columbia in a wing T offense, you barely threw the ball, and yet Incarnate Word took a shot on you. I go, why'd they take a shot on you as a quarterback? And he just looks at me and he goes, because I can sling it. He can sling and it. And that's just, that's his makeup <laughs> and that's his mentality. And, and you just got to love it. The other thing you got to love, obviously 9-0, great season. But man, every stop we've been at this season, uh, on the road and at home, but on the road, some of those road games, it felt like home games. Yeah. And we're going to Atlanta. Yes. And there's a huge contingency of Hurricane fans there. And I would expect it to be the same. And it's been phenomenal to watch and to hear. Yeah, it's it's if any Miami fans have traveled and made that trip to Georgia Tech before, you know how huge of a presence Hurricanes can be in that stadium. And the players noticed the players have expressed so much gratitude for all that support at home. But on the road, you know, we saw we heard those fans at Cal you know, 3,000 miles away. And they're expecting a big group of, of Miami fans and Miami contingent in uh, in Bobby Dodd this weekend. So, you know, if you are there, make your voices heard, be loud. They um, they do hear it. They do appreciate it. And it's a big part of their story this year, too. It's always fun getting off the bus and, and yes. the, it's lined. It, it, yes. it's, it's like a cane walk on the road. Yeah. Line going to the locker room. And it's, it's always great to see. So, Christy, I know we'll see you there. You'll be walking be through that tunnel. You'll feel that love. <laughs> Same for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Christy, thank you very much. One last thing. Sometimes, sometimes doing less of something in sports is actually a good thing. Now, let me frame this for you. Right now, the Hurricanes score on 61% of their offensive possessions. That leads all of college football. Their points per possession, also the best in college football. And they have the highest scoring team in all of college football. So the Canes... They do more of almost everything offensively than anyone else in the sport, except for one. No, this is not about Cam Ward, except for one category, punting. Dylan Joyce has only punted 16 times this season. I'm making up a new statistical category. Triple P, PPP, punts per possession. Miami leads in the least amount of punts per possession in the country. So Dylan Joyce, this one last thing is for you. We don't see a lot of you, but that's okay because punters who punt least, their teams win the most. The Canes are 9-0. Georgia Tech coming up 12 o'clock Saturday in Atlanta. You can catch the game on ESPN or you can listen to myself, Joe and Don on 560 QAM.